Hello, welcome to my channel, Wing Spiritual Clarity. My name is Wendy Wing. Let's dive right into today's reading. The overall energy of this reading is the Knight of Wands in reverse. This is someone very inconsistent, someone who I'm definitely feeling that player energy, someone who uh, just follows their desire but they burn through that desire very quickly. It feels like um, this person does not know how to fill their own needs, to meet their own needs. It feels like they're acting in a way that's very unloving for themselves ultimately and others. So why are we, what, who is this? <laughs> okay, okay, all right. With the five of pentacles and the two of cups in reverse, this feels like someone who abandoned you or you feel abandoned by. Feels like uh, there's, they were a player, very inconsistent. This is not love. And it feels like you're not with this person any longer. It feels like it was very hard to walk away from this relationship. I think because of the intensity, this person has that fiery intensity and comes in hot, <laughs> coming in hot, <laughs> but, the, but then burns through it very quickly. I get the feeling that you're a very loving person, very heart-centered. There's something coming out around this person, around this breakup energy. It feels like there's the people around this person operate in this very inconsistent way as well might be a lot of players uh, getting their needs met so um so in this group setting in this environment this type of behavior is acceptable It, it feels like the, they all kind of have this very inconsistent player and it feels like they justify this behavior as well, this group. Wow. All right. The hidden blessings is temperance in reverse. A lack of patience, a lack of, oh, um... This group and or this person who's a player, very out of balance and it feels like they might be drinking a lot. Um, why is this a blessing? Why are we receiving this information? Oh, interesting. The, the Knight of Wands again coming up very in clarifying but came up as as um that it's a challenge right now to be in that energy i think it's hard to be a player it feels like if you are in this player energy going towards what you desire all the time it feels like it's not as happy and fulfilling as they thought it would be. So to hide those feelings, it feels like there's a lot of emotions, repressed, suppressed emotions. They might be using substances, alcohol, to drown out uh, these feelings, but the avoiding mature emotions and just staying in this kind of I want what I want it is kind of childish 
and it feels like their coping strategies are to avoid feeling and it feels like they're drinking so much or doing so much to avoid whatever these repressed emotions are it's hard for them to be a player they've kind of doused their own fire with this alcohol so it feels like um they're unable to really perform to yeah it looks like you have very limited contact with this person might have cut them off no communication it, i'm definitely with the queen of swords in this position with the ice it feels like you've made some head over heart decisions about this energy that they're n no good <laughs> for you at least i think that feels like a mature decision feels like at some point this person caused a lot of confusion and but now you see and i think um i think it's a blessing that you are seeing this person head over heart seeing um that this out of control immature type of energy does not bring benefit and it feels like you're you cutting this energy off is a blessing it feels like there's more about why that's a blessing let's keep going what you're leaving behind is the hermit in reverse you're leaving behind being in a relationship being in connection with someone who makes you feel alone Someone who could never meet your maturity level, who staying, uh, this feels very much like Peter Pan. I want to do what I want to do. I want to go fight. I want to go play. I want to go flirt. But I don't want any responsibility. I don't want anything. I don't want to have to feel difficult emotions. I don't want to grow up. This energy has this kind of uh, arrested development, definitely emotionally. Feels like they've they peaked in high school or college or when they were really young, and they were like, "This is the best!" And so they just keep recreating or trying to recreate this very juvenile scenario, and. I think you, you've you realized that to be with this energy means to be alone because they can't meet themselves. They can't meet themselves on a, anything deep. They haven't, they're not willing, unable, incapable, doesn't matter, of really exploring life other than in this very juvenile way so i think there's this realization that you know i don't want to be a kid i want to grow up and to be around this energy means that you are with a child maybe in a parent to, you're having to parent this person instead of really being um an equal partnership so you're leaving behind feeling very alone in a relationship that's a lot let's okay someone who treats you like an option someone who also you're leaving behind someone who treats you like an option you're leaving behind regret regret resentment because it feels like there's a lot of unspoken resentment about this relationship you're also leaving behind it feels like this person is just because of their unwillingness to to address life and situations in a mature way this person just needs to win needs to be viewed as 
the hero, the victor. And so I think there's this realization that um, you can't you can't really get anywhere with this person, not in any type of emotional level. You're leaving behind having to defend yourself against someone who's supposed to be your number one, someone who's got your back. Leaving behind someone who's who acts kind of foolish. Immature and foolish. Someone who needs to be the authority, but they haven't done the inner work. They need to be viewed as the leader, but they haven't done any of the inner work to deserve leadership over others. And you're leaving behind someone who can't, refuses to change and evolve. I think a lot of what I'm seeing here is your realization that, you know, um, this isn't this isn't working for me or yeah there's something okay gonna keep going how to get the most of this energy is the magician being conscious about what it is you're creating for yourself realizing that it's not your job to chronically heal someone it's not your job to lift someone up it feels like you have been running interference energetically for this person and doing all their healing work taking their karma taking whatever they project onto you their limitations <clears throat> You might be or have been with this energy in the fixer role and it looks like you're done fixing. I think also that y this person, God, how do I say this? Um, this person, God, how do I say that? The, that doesn't... I'll just say it. This person feeds off your beautiful, lovely energy. You're very lovely and kind and have this generosity of spirit. Feels like you might be in your family. Your role was the fixer. The one that is maybe a people pleaser. And it looks like how to get the most of this energy is to realize that it's not your job to fix this person. It's not your job to heal them. That you might be resentful of that position and tired of doing all the lifting and no appreciation. This person doesn't have the emotional or mental ability to celebrate anyone else because they need to be celebrated. They're really stuck in like a four-year-old, four to six-year-old, I want what I want, and, and you have to tell me how great I am. So this is someone really stuck in an underdeveloped child pictures, and you might have been their mommy. That might have been your role, even if you're a man and we're talking about a feminine energy, you need to love me unconditionally no matter what I do. But they don't offer the same thing back. Feels like there are very different agreements for each of you. And it feels like um, now you're recognizing, it feels like this person used to be able to sweet talk you, used to be able to <clears throat> say what you wanted to hear and be able to manipulate you, manipulate your uh, behavior. This person also, it feels like behind closed doors, they were 
uh, very, they would get you wound up behind closed doors. So when you're in public again and in this wounded state, but you're not telling anyone, then, then you're all you're. Then you lose your stuff in public, and they can be like, "Yeah, see, she, she, he's crazy. He's out of control." So this is a very manipulative energy. They can't tell you what they want. They have to just destroy things that they don't like to make it very punishing. And they, they mess up your, um, anywhere you shine or where you're getting the attention or up, being uplifted feels like this person has to come in and, and mess things up. Yeah, they know just what to say just because they know you really well and they know just how to wound you and, and then make it look like you are the emotionally inept person. It looks like how to get the most of this energy is that you're balancing out your emotions. You're recognizing what's happened and realizing you don't want these un unconscious agreements with this person. You don't want to, it um, feels like you've been working on your wounds and so it feels like it's harder for this person to get you into your woundedness and instead you're like, why, why are you poking at my wounds like this? You're supposed to be the person who cares for me. Wow, you really hit below the belt. It feels like you're just addressing it instead of, <clears throat> it feels like they used to be able to get you in your woundedness, get you in your emotions, get you um, agitated and, and then they loved seeing you blow up. They loved, um, feels like that gave them control over you, control over the narrative about you as well. Jeez. Not a fan, not a fan of this energy, but it feels like this energy has created an opportunity for a lot of change within you, not them. All right, what's supporting you is the Ace of Swords in reverse. What's supporting you is seeing the truth or seeing the lies, seeing the deception. Feels like you're at a point where you're willing to see why, yeah, that this person just lies, manipulates communication. There's withholding of the truth of information. There's withholding of communication, weaponizing communication, half-truths, lies, full-out lies. This person, the whole way they look at communication is just power. And how it feels like they, they know how to create fear. This is someone who at the, is very insecure, very insecure. They might emulate like they, they know they're, I know how to act like a strong person. I know how to act confident, but they're not, it feels like a, they're cos, cosplaying. <laughs> and, um, I, I think right now they're, there's something I'm tuning into this energy. They're unable to overcome obstacles. They're very much in their fear. Um, it feels like, yeah, they're really being held up. Oh, for some of you, this person's getting caught. with their hand in the cookie jar. Feels like 
they can't they can't get out of this with the lies oh my gosh this feels so specific this person's getting caught and they're terrified because they can't get out of this they're being seen for it feels like this person has up until now been able to escape been able to talk their way out of things been able to project blame onto others but there's no defense they're they're being seen this could be around finances around taking something that was not theirs they can't they can't argue their position there's um it feels like a closed case like open and shut like there's video evidence or some type of very uh this person can't they're they've backed themselves into a corner and it feels like they're getting caught in a lie and it doesn't feel like anybody's coming uh to help this person they're feeling very um stuck in uh what they created for themselves feels like they've spent a long time getting away with this type of immature behavior and so it feels like they're brazen and feeling reckless like i'm never gonna get caught but it feels like that's what we're looking at wow that feels so specific is this happening? Is someone, um, it even has like jail, I mean, or trouble with the law. It has like someone really in a, in a bind. Wow. All right. The, what to be mindful of is judgment in reverse. All right. Uh, Oh, yeah. All right. It feels like something to be mindful of is um, celebrating someone's downfall. <laughs> wow. This is someone who really thought that they were above being judged. I'm getting again, it feels like they're confined, like they're unable to make moves like they used to. That whatever they've been doing, lording over others, taking advantage of their position, it feels like they can't get out of this. Wow. Um, it does feel like people are judging this person. They are, maybe they're going to trial. Um, there's also, it's like a breach of contract, um, breaking the law. It, it could be at work, it could be, ooh. Ooh. Okay, as I was seeing the possibility of what this is, it feels like um, there's a variety depending on who you are out there. Feels, But this is someone who broke some type of law, broke uh, an agreement, broke um, something and the justice around this is swift like they they f yes because they've done this in the past over and over and over again they've just assumed that they're never going to get caught and they f feel like they can create blocks for anyone and delusions and people won't see it but people are seeing this very clearly wow so curious uh if this resonates if this is um in agreement with 
your personal story. So interesting. What a different reading. Hope that was helpful. Take care. Bye.